Well, Kev, Premiership Rugby back here for the first time in a month. Um, it's going to be pretty special and what a game, Leicester Tigers. Yeah, I mean, they've got a great tradition, Leicester Tigers, household name, so it's a real privilege to play against them and the, the players they have in their squad. It's going to be a huge game, though, that, you know, as you said, full of international stars, yeah. perhaps a sellout crowd here as well. Makes all for a big occasion. Yeah, I mean, that's why we play rugby. We want to be involved in these matches, so um, if I'm lucky enough to get involved in the squad, it's going to be a great occasion for Exeter as a city and the fans that will come along to watch us play. The last month, Rob's utilised the squad to the full. Everyone's had their chance to impress and that. Um, coming back into it now, this is the bread and butter and a real crucial block of Premiership fixtures. Yeah, I mean, we, we take every game as an important game. Uh, we were disappointed the way the LV Cup ended for us, unfortunately. But uh, we're still kind of in the hunt for being better than we were last year in the Premiership. And hopefully this, this Saturday against Leicester will kind of take us a step towards that. You alluded to the Bath result there, 31-3, but in reality, when you look at how young our side was come the end, I think we had eight academy boys yeah. on it, there's a lot of positives to take from it. Oh, totally, loads of positives, um, a lot of kind of game time for players that haven't played before, a few debuts out there, and uh, as I said, this squad is going to play a massive part in anything we achieve this season, and for everyone to get a run out was, was great. As we said, Leicester, then Wasps, Bath and say, oh, it's a crucial block, but if we can get through these these games with a, a decent run of, of results, um, who knows what can happen then? Yeah, like I said, it's each game at a time. We just want a better last season, but uh, we've got a lot of belief from the results we've picked up so far, and uh, we're going to try and do the best we can. Looking back to the start of the season, it was a cracking way to start start the campaign, winning up at Welford Road and that. Um, you probably take a lot of confidence in that and you know you now know that you can beat Leicester on your day. Yeah, we took a lot of confidence. I think it set the tone for the season and uh, it gave us a lot of belief for the results that followed. And uh, having beaten them already away, it would be nice to kind of do better than last year where we got an away w a bonus point when we played them at home to do one better this year. Sandy Park, always pretty special for Exeter players to run out and that, but um, you always fancy yourselves at home. It doesn't matter who the opposition is. If you can get the game right and uh, your mindset right, then obviously the performance will follow. I think one of the big benefits from playing at Sandy Park is the crowd. They're uh, notorious for getting behind us and it really does help. So the more noise our crowd makes, the better performance we tend to put in. No doubt you would have done your homework this week, looking at Leicester. Threats all over the park, I'd imagine. Yeah, they've, every position they've got potentially world-class players, so uh, whoever they are missing, they'll replace with someone very good. So we've really got our work cut out, but I think we're trying to make it more about us this week, what we can do to kind of Im implement our game plan on them rather than worry about them. And when you look back at, say, a few weeks ago against Perpignan, was that sort of the benchmark performance now that you've got to look for? That people have described it as one of the best here. Yeah, I think uh, it's kind of, like you say, set the benchmark, it's set the tone, and we need to raise our levels each week to try and better that, and that will kind of put us in a place where we want to be. Thank you, mate.